okay guys uh, so let us move on to the next topic in matlab uh, that is uh, we'll see how to plot a graph in matlab okay and it's a very very important topic uh, that you are going to use a lot in your uh, programming exercises at the same time in your uh, professional uh, engineering engineering career okay. so let us say that this is the equation so this is the equation of velocity this is the equation of velocity of a bungee jumper okay so if you can see this v is is the velocity okay and velocity is a function of t and if you can see uh, g is acceleration due to gravity m is mass so it is constant uh, cd is coefficient of uh, drag okay so basically this is an equation of uh, velocity versus time so we want to plot so obviously whenever you want to plot something it should be something versus something so that is uh, uh, if you talk about x so y of x f is equal to y of x so we want to plot uh, a graph of velocity versus time okay and uh, we'll see how how we are going to do this in matlab okay so let us start plotting the graph so i want to plot a graph of uh, t that is time versus velocity so the very first thing that i am going to do is i am going to define the limits of t or i am going to define a vector t okay uh, I want to uh, start from 0 second to 20 second so I'll, I'll say from 0 second to 20 seconds so this will create a vector from 0 to 20 uh, but I want uh, I don't want it to be very fine I want it from 0 to 20 uh, but I want it to plot the values between uh, between uh, 0 to 0 2 4 6 that that means i want the distance between the elements as 2 obviously this is not required i mean if you want you can just plot from 0 to 20 nobody is going to stop you. you you can do that as well okay so this is what i have done okay so if you can see i have created a vector starting from 0 2 4 6 8 10 till 20 you can also suppress the output I hope you know if you want to suppress the output what you are going to do you are going to just type semicolon and it is going to suppress the output ok but sometimes it is uh, a good thing to see the output to see whether the values that you wanted to generate are getting generated correctly or no ok so I have just created a vector of t so this is my x axis now what I want is I want to write down the equations before I write down the equations there are some values of constant that I am going to use in my equation that is going to be acceleration due to gravity so I am I'll, I'm creating a variable g I am assigning a value of 9.81 to this variable ok then I am press semicolon now what is semicolon going to do it is going to suppress the output so I am not going to see the value of g then I am going to define another variable or constant m where m is the mass and it's going to be uh, 68.1 okay and i am going to define a variable cd so that is coefficient of drag and the value of that is going to be 0 0.25 and i'm again going to suppress the output of this so i have defined three variables or three constants and if you can see here on the right hand side you can see variable g then variable m and so on now let us write down the equation so we want to generate a plot of time versus velocity so this is going to be time and then your velocity will be a function of time okay so uh, we have already seen the equation we'll just type the equations so the equation is v is equal to 
okay we have to use the square root so in MATLAB you can directly use a function SQRT which is a function built-in function for square root and what was the equation yes square root of GM divided by CD so G into M so this is my G which I have already defined constant into M again a constant divided by CD okay, into 10 hyperbolic and this is going to be SQRT square root again because as the equation says it should be square root of uh, G into CD divided by M this whole thing into T okay one more thing I forgot to tell you guys this is the 10 hyperbolic function okay so in MATLAB uh, if you want to find the sine cosine tangent you just have to type uh, sine then you just have to type cosine so in place of 10 if this was uh, sine so what I would have done I would have just typed sine so sine cosine and so on but uh, as the problem says I want 10 hyperbolic h okay so one thing that you need to understand here what is going on so when you define this equation this will do the square root of g so g is nothing but a variable or a constant that we have already defined so it is automatic directly going to take this value it's going to directly take this value it is directly going to take this value and is going to find out this value and again it's going to find out the square root of uh, g then into cd divided by m okay and uh, yes so the t is a vector so basically what is going to happen the first element it will take the first element and find the value of v then it is going to take the second element find the value of of v third element fourth element and it is going to go till 20 so you don't have to do anything here okay you just have to use this uh, vector t as just as a variable just as a normal variable and what you will get here is you will get a vector okay, if you can see here you got a vector so I hope this is clear to everyone so it's going to automatically take the values so you don't have to worry about this so basically at the end what we are getting is vector of t and vector of v this is what you are going to plot so whenever you are plotting something you, al you should always think in terms of vectors so when you talk about uh, if you if you are plotting some function of uh, let us say z with respect to uh, uh, let us say some function y so you'll first create a z vector and then you'll find using formula you'll find out the y vector no this is what i have done so uh, at the end i have got two vectors this is my vector number one and this is my vector number two so if you want you can again uh, suppress the output here if you don't want to see the output just press a semicolon here but you have already used it okay. Okay. so we have created two vectors so now we want to plot uh, a graph of t versus v so we are going to just use a simple function MATLAB function plot so please remember this function this is going to be plot t versus v so this is what uh, you are going to get when you plot a t versus uh, uh, v okay so now let us enter the title to the graph so we are going to type title t i t l e title okay so titles is so whenever you are writing a text or displaying a text you are going to put it in uh, the single inverted commas so you are going to say plot of v versus t 
and you are going to close the inverted commas so this is how you are going to uh, dip, display a message so this is going to be title then uh, we'll need the label for x-axis so you want to label x-axis label x label and it is going to be values again you want to print a message or so text so you are going to put it in single inverted commas values of t okay so once if you see uh, when you close the inverted comma the color is going to change that means uh, the equation is uh, the the text is complete and it's correct so again why label and by label is going to be values of uh, b and again i uh, will be suppress the output but but even if you don't suppress it i don't think there is any output for by label so these three things is going to insert uh, okay so i think i made a mistake by label I I entered another L, extra L, so you have to be very careful about the syntax as well. Yeah. Sorry. Why? Why? So this is y label so x label y label title okay now if you have seen if you if you saw the plot we got uh, a blue default blue line okay if you want you can change that line as well so simply what you are going to do is you are going to use plot understand that this plot is in small letters and all the functions if you see in MATLAB is going to be in small so plot of T versus V now let us say we want circles okay at those points so what you are going to do is you are going to type O so once you run this it will display circles so if you can see here it has displayed the circles okay and you can do a lot of other things you can change the color of these circles okay and everything uh, and I'm not going to discuss how to do that because uh, all the resources are available on the internet uh, and it's very easy so once you understand what we are doing uh, you can go more deeper into what else can be done you can also display another plot over this plot so this is the plot and if you want to display another plot on this plot you want to match it you want to see the values or you want to compare it you can do that that is also possible so there are a lot of things that are possible in MATLAB and this is just the start so I request you to please uh, whenever you are stuck somewhere and you don't find a solution please search on Google search on the internet and you'll find a lot of resources and a lot of help and uh, a lot of things a lot of videos in fact uh, on how to plot this and how to how to convert this okay so internet is the best resource for learning MATLAB uh, okay